All right, still ahead here on the Valley's News Leader, we've already given you sneak peek there earlier this week of a new library opening on the east side of town. But did you know that the I 8 News Now I team played a role in opening the state of the art space? George Knapp explains coming up. Watching the Valley's News Leader with Denise Valdez, Christiane Klein, Ted Florendo, and Chris Matthews. This is 8 News Now at 6. The opening of a $30 million library and community center in East Las Vegas today is being hailed as a game changer. It is located on Bonanza Road just past Eastern Avenue. Now, as George Knapp tells us, the I-Team played a role in the library's creation after nagging various agencies about some dying trees. Remember that rhetorical question from Spanish class, Donde es la biblioteca? Now we know. The grand opening of the new library and community center in East Las Vegas is something that public officials and area residents have wanted for 25 years but couldn't accomplish. Gone are the gangsters and criminals who once plagued this same turf, replaced by hundreds of library patrons who flooded the new facility the moment it opened. None of this would have happened if not for the plight of some towering pine trees. For more than half a century, hundreds of these trees grew on 50 acres, three lots near Bonanza and 28th, in effect an urban forest. The land belonged to the housing authority, but after the decrepit housing projects were demolished, the trees were essentially abandoned. Over time, the irrigation pipes behind the fenced off lots were broken, clogged or stolen, which meant the trees were cut off from water. By 2013, area residents told us they were sickened to see so many of the old trees dying of thirst in the desert heat. And here alone, over 100 trees at least, you know, at least 100 trees because there was easily twice this many uh, in here and, uh, and of course the other two spots even more. The center one has got the most dead, you know, and it was just, they were just driving around, knocking them over with the tractor. After the I-Team spent months pounding the phone lines of multiple agencies and officials, City Councilman Bob Coffin, a lifelong resident of East Las Vegas, got to work. Like his predecessor, Gary Reese, Coffin thought the location might work as a park built around the trees. But the city didn't own the land, and the housing authority had no money for a project. Coffin and city staffers came up with a complicated idea, a grand land swap between five entities, the city, library district, school district, housing authority, and a private museum. Federal, state, and local dignitaries on hand for the opening praised Coffin for pulling off the impossible, but the councilman says his inspiration came from the trees. The trees really did because it got our focus on this land. Not, we didn't own it, but it looked like a place. And with your constant needling me, we got something done. The infusion of millions of dollars was possible because of a tax credit system approved two years ago by state lawmakers. Okay, Shannon Bilbray Axelrod, so who grew up in East Las Vegas, is a member of both the State Assembly and the Library Board and knows what this facility will mean to an underserved community. I know how important a library is and how it can really change lives of not only young people but older folks as well. So we have hot spots, we have internet, we have workforce connection, uh, homework help, uh, you name it, this place will, will do it for the community. Scores of the remaining pines now tower over the library like sentinels and the few that had to be removed are still here in a way, turned into benches that library patrons can sit on, think or read. George Knapp, 8 News Now. Now, according to Senator C Catherine Cortez Masto, who was present for the unveiling, as you saw there in that video, uh, one in five Clark County residents actually lacks reliable access to the Internet. The new library is chock full of computers and other technology to serve an estimated 111,000 people who live just within two miles of that location. And see how nice. interconnected everything was. Right. From the trees to yeah. everything else. Very interesting. That's real cool. Huh?